guitar, school friendly my electric guitar lesson video. So for those of you who've been watching my channel the last couple of years, you know that I play my electric guitar, I play Armonia in general, I'm from Tucson, I live in Texas now, had to move, you know, money. Uh, but I noticed that a lot of people over the last few months have really been focusing in on some of the videos on my channel. I hear the guys, your guys' comments about, oh, I would love to show your videos in my class, but you say the F word too many times in this movie and that movie. You know what? Hey, I'm, I'm, I, I hear you, and I'm trying to not uh, curse as much in these videos anymore. Uh, I don't know what it is. I mean, I started saying swear words when I was in fourth grade, and that was back in the 90s, so I don't know what kids are like today, but, uh, you know, if high school students are getting, you know, their ears bleeding and crying because of, 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 of a foul language word, then, ugh, okay. But, that being said, uh, if you're watching this in the classroom right now, I am trying to clean it up, and I'm making a point to point this out because you guys have made it a point to point it out to me. So, yeah, something something like that. That, that makes sense. Um, today's lesson video, guitar video lesson thing, uh, the first one I did, and kind of the most popular one, is just your basic exercise. Like, it's your first... <laughs> to the point where you start to exhaust your, your, your wrist and your forearm. Now I'm playing with my with my whole arm here. So I'm here, um, you know, kind of not too overbearing on the guitar. I'm not, you know, up underneath the guitar like I'm trying to do something inappropriate. I'm kind of like resting my forearm right on the curve of the guitar right here. And so what I'm playing with is really just my wrist, not my hand, right? Well, I see a lot of people that do weird playing like they play with their hand <laughs> they play with their hand sorry teacher if you're if you're showing this in a classroom right now i'm very inappropriate but they do a lot of this wrong okay i'm gonna say it right here it's wrong if you play like that you're playing wrong and i'm sorry we can still be friends we can disagree but you're playing wrong okay it's not right and i can't stress this more than than how i just said that you can't play um when you're doing nothing but your hand and your forearm, you're you're wasting too much energy. It's this idea of conservation of motion. If you're a violin player, if you're a classical player, um, you understand this: is that you don't play too much on the on the bow and 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 with the, with your, the the fingers and all that stuff. I'm trying so hard not to curse right now, guys. You have no idea. I'm generating a lot of power, but I'm not moving a lot. I'm being very conservative in my movement. It also helps that I have a pretty crazy, really good instrument. So if you have a really nice guitar, this becomes even easier to execute, right? Or a nicer instrument. Keep your posture right. You want to stay upright as much as possible. If you have a nice chair, that, that helps when you're practicing. Because when you're playing and standing for hours, guys, you don't want to end up like this guy. You know, it's all slouched over, right, and hunched back in Notre Dame. When you're playing, it looks a lot better on stage. When you're, if you're a tall guy or girl or whatever, even if you're short, you want to have good posture. <laughs>
kind of just goes on its own momentum when you're playing. You don't have to struggle and, and like and, and, and grit into the guitar and like I can't get the sound I want so I have to play harder and more hunched over and no. Better technique. Good posture, right? Relax, you know, take it easy. Resting on the guitar, not in the guitar, not on top of the guitar. Resting, just little bits, right? The forearm, right? Right on the guitar. Your wrist and your forearm working together, not and with your hand and your fingers. So when I'm playing, I'm making contact with the whole hand, just like that. I'm not doing this, I'm playing like that. I'm not just getting the pick and grinding the pick into the guitar. I'm just using the pick to supplement the sound. So I'm playing with all of my fingers. And then I'm curling it all in to the rest, into the attack, right? And then you go. exercise this is still guitar one this is still baby steps beginner gotta learn how you can fly before you can crawl or other way around the next exercise that I learned was the down slap so you're getting your down up down up now you're gonna do the down slap right and you know you're you're gonna you're gonna hear that right the idea that you know you're getting it right is when you play the slap and you hear no sound if you hear that that's wrong okay it's okay it's wrong you want to get Silence. Yeah? Now the slap part... <laughs> slap! The slap part is really like my knuckles here and my thumb, like this, the meat, the thumb meat, this part here and the edge right here, that's what's going to muting all of the strings. See, I'm landing on my here, like that. If it's hard for you to understand or get that, get that far on, on the first try, it's just use without the pick. Leading with my nails, So we're just getting this down, right? Okay. So now that you're getting that, you're going to do kind of a variation, right? to help do the rasqueado it's helpful because a lot of the times you're going to have a rasqueado right before the slap anyway in a lot of the songs that you play and depending on what style right it's okay i messed that one up it's okay keep practicing Same kind of idea, 
you're gonna go slow and then you're gonna increase the tempo until you mess it up and you gotta start all over, okay? <laughs> Basically, the exercise is just down and slap. And you actually are playing the strings, but immediately being muted by your palm. exaggerated but you get the point okay guys teachers students school friendly family friendly mariachi guitar lesson videos all of you commenters on youtube that say i use too much foul language um i don't mean to be a jerk about it i'm just it's, i'm just trying to make it funny um i know people have problems with language and all that kind of stuff i don't particularly have a problem with language but you know it is what it is hope you guys enjoy that and uh hopefully i can continue to provide because these are just ideas you know these are a lot of things that are lost on people and they get right into playing okay guys c major and uh put the accent there and and, and they just go they just go right and you never come back to the little intricacies of guitar playing and I had a lot of great teachers that taught me a lot of this stuff and a lot of guys and girls that are still playing out there that know a lot of this stuff. And um, and even if you're an advanced level player, even if you're really good, um, if you find this helpful to just go, ah, that's right, I've been sucking lately. So a little bit of help, right? So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next guitar lesson video. Uh, school friendly, family friendly, no cursing Davenport video. And uh, I'll try to not be so uh, sarcastic about it. I know some people get really their feelings hurt. But, uh, you know, I think it's funny. So, see you guys later. Peace.